Hi guys, I want to show you how to use Burlington English student lessons. So let's take a look. I know most of you will be doing this on your phone. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on a phone. You can do the same thing on the computer. It will look very, very similar, but um, this will all be on the phone. If you are going to use a computer, just let me know and I can show you how to do that as well. So let's take a look at my phone. All right, so when you get to your phone, you are going to first hit the Burlington English app. So you'll come down here, click on that. You'll enter your username and your password. And you'll hit login. If you need to know your username or your password, just let me know. Now yours will look a little bit different because mine is a teacher. So you will have a screen that comes up that asks, where are you? You will say away from school or at home. I'm pretty sure it says away from school. So you will click on away from school and then it will take you to something that looks very similar to this. So you'll see most of these tiles, some of them are different because this is the teacher version but you will have this one, so you will click on Courses. Now, this shows you all the possible courses we could be looking at. Today, we are looking at English in America, so you're going to scroll down, scroll down, where it says English in America, we are looking at the intermediate level, so you'll click on Intermediate, and then you will see where it says Student Lessons, so you'll click on Student Lessons, now, this will show you all of the possible ones. There's lots of different lessons. We are looking at number three. So you'll click on number three, and we will look at number one, understanding other cultures. So we click on that. Now, within this, there are lots of different activities. So if you go up here to the top, you can scroll through and see that there are lots of different activities. All of them are useful, so I recommend that you do as many as you can, but start at the beginning and work your way through. So starting at number one, you will play the words and after you play them, you can also record yourself by hitting this button. It will flash up. It will say, well, you want to use your microphone. Hit okay. And then you can also record it. So you can say the word one time, Belize. Oh, well, that's the understanding. So click it, wait till it flashes, and then say the word one time very clearly. Belize. There we go. And it will tell you your pronunciation. So after you do this enough, you'll, the Burlington English app will be able to tell you how your pronunciation is, and it can work on certain aspects of pronunciation with you. So if you scroll down, you see there are lots of different words for you to practice. These are all of the vocabulary words we have already gone over in class. To go to the next activity, you go up here to the top, and you'll hit the next button. So this one, you listen and type the word. I'm not gonna go through every single activity with you. I just want to make sure you understand how to go from activity to activity. You can go to the next part of this activity. So this is number one down here at the bottom. You can go to the second question in this activity. So number two, three, four, so on and so forth. Then if you wanna to go to the next activity, you can hit this button to go next and hit number three. And you can go to the listening activity. So here up in the right hand corner or the left hand corner, excuse me, is the button to play. So this is a listening activity. So you'll listen to it and then choose true or false. If you need to make it bigger, you can just pinch the screen and make it bigger. 
could hit the down button or these down arrows here, choose true or false to answer those questions. And you can pinch the screen again to make it smaller. There you go. And you can go through these activities however fast or slow you want to. I believe that there are nine activities. Yes, there are nine activities in this student lesson. So do as many as you can. As you do them, you will see this in the corner will go up to show how far along you are. After each of them, there should be a check button that can check how you're doing and be able to show you how um, the correct answers as well. One other thing to look at in the read section, so number seven, some of them are very small. Some of them are smaller. So you'll have to click this plus in the corner to make it larger. And that will help you be able to read it properly. There we go. So that is how we use the student lessons. Over the course of this class, we will use different student lessons in um, Burlington, not Burlington English, in um, English in America, as well as other courses. But you will always go back to those courses and be able to find it there. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will see you all in class. Have fun guys.